Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to the third episode of Python's World, my Minecraft survival series on vanilla single player. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you guys very, very much once again for the insane support you showed in the second episode. Very, very much appreciated, my friends. And of course, if we can keep that up, that would be absolutely fantastic. So guys... Welcome back. So, in today's episode, we are going to be going ahead and doing a little bit of building and enhancing of this sort of front garden area in that I'd quite like to start on making some pathways coming out of this base, going into some various other places which are going to, uh, you know, eventually become builds. So, yeah. So, we're going to start off with this little lake here. We've got a nice little lake around here. I think it'll be a nice idea to go ahead and, uh, you know, prettify it up a little bit. I think there's plenty of things we could probably do to make it look a lot nicer so i think oh there's an egg <laughs> i think what we're gonna go ahead and do is grab ourselves out some leaf blocks and i think what i'd quite like to do because we don't have access to glowstone just yet maybe a temporary solution for lighting up this place and making it look like it's sort of glowing maybe what we could do is hmm this is gonna be difficult actually how are we gonna do this without uh yeah, it's like instant, isn't it? I was go I was thinking I would be able to go ahead and place down a torch and a leaf block quick enough to the point where the water won't go down into it. But uh, in actual fact, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe we can come back to the lighting of the pond just a little bit later. But what I'd quite like to do, though is really try to prettify that place up. And I've got a few plans as to how we could potentially go ahead and do that. We've got ourselves a bunch of cobblestone, of course, uh, since the last episode, or from the last episode, should I say. So, uh, what else could we do? A little bit of slabbage? A little bit of slabbage? I think a little bit of slabbage would be very nice. Hello, chickens. There's lots of you around, my friends. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, this place is starting to get invaded. This is now a home invasion, ladies and gentlemen. There's chickens everywhere. Oh, no. They're all over the place. I don't like this. Right, so let's begin by clearing out the surrounding of this place because I want to make this place look a little bit nicer. So, uh, why don't we make it, why don't we make the shape of the pond just a little bit nicer though instead of it just being like a really unorganized sort of splodge. I'd like to make it just a little bit larger. So, you know, something like this. I think that's a pretty, pretty decent sized splodge, would you guys say? I think that's pretty decent. So, and now what we're going to do very, very simply is we're going to start placing in some, uh, we're just going to start placing placing in some blocks and seeing what happens. So here's the plan. We're going to have ourselves some leaf blocks with some slabs on top and then maybe like three cobblestone walls and then something like this and then one, two, three. Oh my goodness. It actually worked absolutely perfectly. <laughs> That's brilliant. Okay, and uh, guys, believe it or not, in 1.13, I'm not sure if this is a bug, but I'm really hoping that it isn't, and that it is indeed a feature. But believe it or not, you can indeed place flower pots now on top of fences. So something like this, eh? Does that not look cool? I think that looks pretty darn awesome, actually. So uh, let's continue placing some down. Uh, oh, 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 okay, uh, that just happened. I placed it down in midair. Um... I didn't even know you could do that, but uh, that's that's brilliant, I guess. Right, and we'll place one there. We need a few more flower pots. Uh, one, two, uh, three more flower pots, I think, is what I'm counting. Okay, so we can get some clay in just a bit. But uh, yeah, we're just trying to we're just trying to make the pond look a little nicer. Instead of it just being a splodge, it'll be a splodge that looks nice. And uh, yes, you saw that correctly. I just got pooped on in the night by one of these chickens. That's disgusting, man. Jeez. In the meantime, I think it'd be a nice idea to try to pick up some different flowers. I mean, we've got like a little orange tulip here. Why don't we go and chuck that down in there? And we've even got some white tulips. Yeah, not bad, man. Not bad. There we go. Maybe we can have like one of each type of flower in these pots here. Fantastic. You see what I mean, though? Like, this has made this pot look a lot nicer. It just looks... Just, it looks really quaint, I think is the word. Uh, I would like to put down some torches, but my OCG is going to tell me that, that that is just going to annoy me. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I just want a little bit of light around here just to uh, just to prevent some mob spawns again. All right, guys. So check it out. We're back inside the pond now. And check this out for a 1.13 feature. You know, usually when you put down a fence, the block around it isn't filled with water. Well, now it is. 
Nowadays, you can go ahead and you can place the water down in there. It's pretty awesome. Then you could also take it out. So that's how it would look like, you know, by default, you know, pre 1.13. But now you can put water in there, which is really, really cool. And the best thing is I could do that also up here. So we can make ourselves a wee little fountain. Eh? Is that not one of the coolest things ever? I think that's really, really cool anyway. Uh, right, I kind of want to put down like a little flower pot on top of there with like a sapling or something. Boop. There we go. <laughs> yeah, look at that, man. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's really, really awesome. That was not possible pre-1.13. Dude, that is really, really cool. So we got ourselves a little fountain, and we got ourselves a bunch of awesome stuff going on. I decided to move the plant pots to the to the sides of the cobblestone walls as opposed to in the center, because I think that looks a little bit better. And um, we've got, like, the regular wall here, so we can actually look out onto this thing. And, yeah, just in general, it looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? Right, so, the next thing I think I'd quite like to do regarding the same sort of pattern, uh, I'm going to need a little bit more in the cobblestone fence department, actually. So, how about we make ourselves a wee bit more, rather like that, there we go. Still got a bunch of slabs, which is awesome. And uh, my next intention is to go ahead, uh, I might go ahead and get rid of this little area here, right? And then the idea is, I'd quite like to sort of uh, limit where this water can go. So maybe I have something like that there. Boom, boom. Uh, and then there's a third one. And then there's that. In fact, you know what? Maybe we can make the tree a part of it, right? That could be a cool idea, right? Make the tree a part of the actual fountain. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. All right, boys. Uh, let's go over here. And then one, two, three. And then we can have another one there. And there we go. So, obviously, when all the grass spreads around again, this should look a lot nicer. You see that? It looks pretty good, doesn't it? We've got ourselves like a little fountain type. Well, it's not even a fountain. It's like a waterfall. Like, I'm not even going to get rid of the waterfall. Ordinarily, I would. But, you know, it's kind of, it's part of the terrain, isn't it? It looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? Okay. So, we've got ourselves a bunch of torches. We've got some more clay smelting in here. Oh, wow. That's a lot of clay, actually. <laughs> nice. I am very much a fan of that. So, uh, let's go ahead and grab out some of these here flowers real quick. Uh, we're going to be working into the night just a wee bit here, but it'll be for a good purpose. Uh, let's have one there. Let's have one there. And one there. And, of course, a little bit of torchage. Why not? Uh, and then one there. Okay. And a flower. And a flower. And a flower. And how about a poppy as well? There we go. Hey, look at that, my friends. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Does it not look... I think this looks a lot better. You know, these two little enhancements that we've done, this little pond area, this little waterfall area, they're looking pretty nice, aren't they? I'm very much a fan of that. So, yeah. Why don't we have a well-deserved rest while a chicken stares at me while I sleep? Because, once again, that is not weird by any stretch of the imagination. And, uh, yeah, we'll come back on the next Minecraft day and, uh, yeah, get some awesome stuff going. So, we've got ourselves a tree here. I mean, it kind of is blocking the entrance but for some reason i actually kind of like it i feel like we could potentially enhance this tree give it a couple of lights here and there and make that look like something that actually belongs there you know what i'm saying so why don't we go ahead and do a little thing real quick and uh, let's grab out some fences maybe we can have some little torch sconces right so maybe a little torch like up here or something if i could even get up there that'd be fantastic uh boop, up we go little torch yeah, and then maybe we can have like another one like a little bit higher up or something. I think that might be a nice idea. Ha! There we go. Fantastic. And to the side? Do we think there should be one to the side? I don't know. I think the ones that we've got are pretty good. Yeah, okay. I'm kind of liking that. So what I kind of want to have happen now is I want all of this grass to sort of re-spread around. And then what I'd really like to do is bone meal the grass and make it look a lot better. But in the meantime, what I'd really like to do is start uh, implementing some sort of pathway. Because pathways, in my opinion, are like the bread and butter. Bread and butter? It's like the starting. It's like the quintessential start of any kind of settlement, right? Placing in the paths, seeing what goes where, and then going from there, right? So, yeah, that's why I'm saying I need to have these uh, grass blocks spread around. But in the meantime, guys, I'm going to try and uh, figure out some other stuff to do around this little place here. And then we'll see what we can come up with. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back down in the caves. I decided that, you know, while we're waiting for the grass to grow, we could probably 
still be productive in that we could get some obsidian, right? The reason we need obsidian, of course, is not only for an enchanting table, but also for an eventual nether portal. And by having the nether portal and access to the nether, we can get some glowstone and therefore start lighting up that pond as I had originally intended. So there we go. Got ourselves a bit of water. And now we should be able to do this a little bit more safely. So... Uh, boop. Let's put you in there. Yeah, there we go. All right, fantastic. So, let's go and place down this water because, you know, this is like the safest way of getting obsidian. We need a grand total of 14 bits for, for the enchanting table and then 10 for a basic nether portal without the corners. Uh, but I'm not actually entirely sure how much I'll get. I might just pick up all of this obsidian. I've no idea. Ah, there we go, my friends. The grass has spread. I've got myself 23 bits of obsidian here and uh, a whole bunch of chickens once again in the base. Oh, my God. Goodness me. <laughs> oh my word. Yeah, this is uh this is getting to be a bit nuts now, isn't it? Oh my word. Yeah, there's there's a lot of guys here. There's a lot of little chicken dudes there. <laughs> It's hilarious, though. I love it. I do. I love it. All right. So, we're carrying on with the pathways. We're also going to go to the nether in just a bit here. But uh, I'd quite like to make this... It's not really a roundabout, but it kind of is. It's going to be like a junction. So, we're going to have one pathway going off uh, probably in this direction off to whatever build may wind up being here. Or better still, I could maybe make this pathway go towards the little lake over here. We could have like a bit of a fence going on here using the same design of what as what we've been using. And yeah, that could be a really 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 nice little sort of we can make like a fishing shack there or something and then in addition to that we could also have ourselves another bit coming up over this way into some sort of mining outpost i mean we have this massive wall and look how big this is i mean seriously man if there isn't like a whole bunch of space on the inside over here then uh, i don't know what's going on man it's gonna be nuts but uh, yeah i intend on making a bit of a build here at some point as well and of course at some point we need to implement a patreon appreciation area because yes that is something i've done in my previous survival series and i definitely need to do at some point on this one so yeah but yeah things looking good just look at it man just look at it it's looking decent isn't it we got ourselves a little bit of a pathway type thing everything's looking nice we could probably get away with doing that actually there there we go that's looking nice it's sort of a nice open area isn't it I kind of like it. Although, with that said, I'd quite like to go ahead and replace that with grass again. Because I think that looks a little bit better. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, so, uh, the next thing we need to try and figure out is where should we go ahead and put our nether portal? I mean, the temptation to put it in here is actually... I don't know, it's quite a good idea. Although, maybe what we do is we have that area as a little mining outpost. And then maybe we have another little area over here which just sort of goes inside, and then we can have a nether portal in here, right? We could uh, maybe put some iron doors here so the zombie pigmen can't get out and destroy things, even though they don't. I just kind of like to imagine that they do. <laughs> oh, dear. Alrighty, so we're just going to dig out a room here real quick, and uh, we'll be able to get down a nether portal and then explore the nether. It's only episode three, and we're already going to explore the nether, guys. I mean, wow. We have been progressing quite quickly through this series, haven't we? <laughs> All right, so... Oh, my... I, what, oh, I've got seeds on me. <laughs> I was just going to say, why are these guys all... Why are they interested in me now? What is going on? <laughs> oh, dear. Anyways, guys, uh, let's go and grab out this. We'll grab out this leather as well. We should be able to make ourselves a book out of it. And then we should be able to grab out a couple of diamonds. And you guys know what's coming. There it is. The enchant table of epicness. Yeah. Temporarily, we'll put it up there. But obviously, we'll get ourselves some better things going on. Wow. We can get efficiency one. How amazing is that? What have we got in here? Sharpness one. And power one. Okay. Pretty basic stuff. I mean... You know, it's, it's pretty cool. I might go ahead and put some low-level enchants and stuff. Probably not on the diamond pickaxe. I'd quite like to get some better things on there. But maybe... Maybe just for the heck of it, we could start putting some stuff on. I'm breaking one. That's pretty decent. We've got efficiency one again. Yeah, why not? Why not? Efficiency two. Hey, not bad. I'll take it. Nice. All right. And a bow. I'm breaking in power. Uh, I mean, power is probably quite useful, right? And yeah, like I say, we'll, we'll keep that behind. But it would be a nice idea to also do the armor here. We've got projectile protection. Aqua affinity. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> Not bad. All right, projectile protection is always a good one. Uh, we've got Depth Strider anywhere. It doesn't look like it, although I will take projectile protection. What about here? Uh, oh, right, I don't have any uh, lapis left. Whoops. 
I am a bit of a doofus bot, aren't I? Right, so let's do this. Okay, come on. What else are we going to get? Unbreaking, protection. Yeah, pretty standard stuff. Uh, i tell you what. We'll, oh, wait. I didn't even swap them out. Feather falling. Oh, feather falling is pretty decent. Don't mind if I do. And we'll take blast protection as well. Just so we've got like a variety of different protection types. Awesome stuff. All right, guys. We're looking good. We've got some decent gear going on. I think what I'm going to go and do is uh, quickly organize my inventory. We're going to get that portal lit. We'll go through it and see what the heck is going on on the other side. All right, folks. Let's get inside this place. Let's see what's going on. We're going to the nether, my friends. Uh, in search of glowstone more than anything. But if we find anything else awesome, then that would be fantastic. What have we got? What kind of spawn? Are we going to spawn next to another fortress? That would be absolutely fantastic if we did. But, uh, you know, I don't hold out too much hope. Right, what have we got? Hey, I mean, this isn't too bad. Certainly not the worst spawn I've ever seen, but, uh, you know, we've got to sell some glowstone over there. That's pretty decent. We've got quartz nearby. Uh, I'm not seeing any signs of a fortress, but, you know, all we got to do is explore just a wee bit. Maybe we can find some. Hey, easy to access glowstone. That's awesome. I say easy to access because I don't need to scaffold up to it or anything like that. That's actually really cool. <laughs> All right, let's go and pick up a bunch of this and then uh, we'll head our way back, make some glowstone blocks and then uh, start decorating the pond as I was saying at the beginning of the episode. This is pretty cool. Not bad, not bad. Alrighty, and as we're doing this, I don't see a reason why we can't go ahead and do the comment question of the video, which is coming from Maxim. Python, what kind of theme are you going for in your world? Uh, examples include medieval villages, modern villages, cities, or one huge jumbled area of buildings. Well, it kind of depends on the area. You see, one thing I'd really like to try and do in this world is I'd really like to try and make builds or settlements that suit the biome. So, for example, you know, so we've got the we've got the flower forest going on and I feel like the builds that are being built there with the cobble and the stone and the flowers you know they suit the biome really really well don't they well at least I feel like they do so maybe when it comes to it if we have like a mesa biome although with that said in one of my previous survival series I also used a flower forest biome for a modern build so maybe that could be a thing but in places like tiger biomes we could have like ye olde type things like medieval as you were saying maybe in a mesa biome we could have like a wild west sort of dead bush dead grass looking area i think that could be really really awesome you know things like that there's loads of things we could get going in this world and like i say i'd really like to try to make the settlement suit the biome that they're in so yeah i'm hoping that makes sense to you guys anyway but here we go my friend we do have ourselves some glowstone and uh, we are about to head into here and uh, just place down some glowstone make this place shine a little bit there we go and we'll have one just over here and then we'll have one just over here and i think that'll just about do it yeah there we go that's looking decent isn't it <laughs> nice one all right guys let's get out of here real quick and yep there we go oh mate but is this place not looking so much better than it did at the start of the episode? Oh, mate, it's looking so good. Oh, I just realized as well, we've got bone meal as well, haven't we? Ooh, we could do some cool stuff. All right, let's put that away. Let's put the glowstone away. And uh, maybe we could force grow some trees as well, just to make it look a little, little bit nicer. Okay, so let's get out of here. And let's see what we can do. So we got all of this space here we could potentially bone meal and make look cool. So why don't we put a tree right here? There we go. That's a, I think that's a pretty nice spot for a tree. We could probably put another one here. Yep, that's looking pretty cool. And maybe another one in this little section. Yep, okay. And then maybe we could start bone, meal the, bone mealing the ground around here just to make it look a little nicer. I don't think I'm going to go for double tall grass. I think it would be a much nicer idea if this place looked a little cleaner than that. You know? I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, we'll have to see what you guys say in the comments area below. But uh, how about we go ahead and just continue on with this. We've got plenty of flowers coming out of this bone meal here, which is really, really nice. So, yeah. Oh, my word, though. But, guys, come on. You, 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 <laughs> you, can't, you can't honestly deny the idea that this is looking a lot better than when we first started the episode. I think this is looking absolutely banging. I really, really do. So, as a bit of a finishing touch. Uh, oh, maybe not. I don't actually have any coal. Hmm, I'll have to make some real quick. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just do a little thing right here. I just need to, just need to smelt down some coal. 
or charcoal, should I say. And then we can go from there, right? I just need a little bit more torch action. And then we'll call the episode done after we've done that. So, come on. Just need a little bit. Just need a little bit. There we go. That's literally all we need. That will give us four torches. And that will grant us the ability to put down a bunch of light around the place. So, how about we have one there, one there, one there. And then we've got another tree over here. So, why don't we put down one right there? There we go. So not only do we have ourselves a bunch of nice decorations, but it's also lit up really, really nicely. The only other thing I'm kind of concerned about is the idea that some dirt, if you guys look very, very closely, like look beneath this log. Like there's a little bit of dirt showing through there. And for me, that's just not good enough. We need to make it so the tree looks like it's properly coming out of the ground. So yeah, why don't we go ahead and do the same here and then the same here here and there we go guys i think we have made an excellent amount of progress in today's episode oh i let a chicken free but you know what that's totally fine but yeah, guys, I think on that note, we're going to go ahead and end this particular episode here. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, please do be sure to drop a like rating as it really helps out myself, the channel, and the video very, very much. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future Minecraft videos on this channel. And ladies and gentlemen, as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.